American astronauts Anne McLean and Christina Koch were due to mark the end of International Women's Month with the first ever all-female spacewalk this Friday. But now their plans have been scrapped last minute because of one small mistake. The International Space Station does not have enough spacesuits to fit both women. For more on this story, we're joined now by Dr. Anne-Marie Mafiden from Stemets. That's an organisation that encourages women and girls to pursue careers in science. It's great to have you with us here this morning on Good Morning Europe. Thank you for joining us. And first of all, what does this incident tell us about female representation in science? So it, it tells us a lot about uh, not just female representation, but the way that uh, women might be treated um, and also aren't seen as the default um, across this space. So uh, the example we have here is, is, is something that's kind of all too familiar for anyone who has to wear you know, any kind of specialist uniform um, for work. Uh, the, the space suits, when they decided at, kind of in the 70s and they were working out who's the average person that might wear this uh, space suit, who might use it, what might their build be. Um, they, were, they were kind of built for the default, which then was, was the male default. Um, and of course, we've, got, we've had many female astronauts and they just uh, haven't been seen uh, as strategically important to NASA to ensure that we've got the right uh, uniform, uh, the right uh, clothing, the right space suit uh, for them. Uh, and that's what's happened here. And NASA is claiming that the reason for this incident was because when she was training Anne McLean, she trained in larger and more medium-sized um, suits. Is that an excuse? No. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, it's... It's, it's funny because they, they didn't have a spare one for her, but they do have a spare, a spare one for the man that is now joining this uh, now male-female um, Facebook. Uh, so it's not an excuse at all. I mean, it, it wouldn't be if you're working on a construction site. It wouldn't be if you're working in any other, any other occupation that requires uh, specialist clothing for work, for military. You know, there's so many, kind of, uh, so many examples of where we don't have the right kind of uniforms for women. We haven't planned for it. We haven't designed it. We haven't invested in that, even though we do have women working in these spheres of work and have done for, for a while now. So just briefly, what do you think needs to be done to make sure these kind of incidents don't occur again? I think we need to look at our defaults, we need to look at our biases, and we need to make sure that we design spacesuits for all different kinds of people, uh, women and others who have different uh, body shapes and might look slightly different because at the end of the day, you're not an astronaut because of the way that your body's built. Uh, you're an astronaut because of the skills, the training um, and the excitement that you have about space. And, and so it's a, it's a, it's a crying shame. It's, it's an insult, actually, that this, is, this has happened at this level. Um, and it's symptomatic of, of a wider thing that we have, not just within science, but across society about, uh, you know, just assuming that everyone is that average male and will be and needs to conform to that when, when we're not. Indeed, as we were saying earlier, one size does not uh, fit all. Uh, Dr. Anne-Marie Mafiden, exactly. thank you so much for speaking to us here on Good Morning Europe.